what is up and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Sweeney and if this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. If you're back for more, welcome back. My YouTube channel is dedicated to the Christian lifestyle so we dive into all different types of things and I hope you will subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Guys, tomorrow is Valentine's Day and half of the planet is single. And if you're a Christian single like me, you're probably wondering, what am I going to do tomorrow? And for some people, Valentine's Day can be really heavy, really emotional. You know, maybe you just got out of a relationship or maybe you're sad that you've been single for a while. Well, fear not because today's video is all about romanticizing your singlehood on Valentine's Day. We're going to dive into some of the fun things you can do on Valentine's Day, some treats that you could get yourself. We're going to dive into a bunch of different things. Grab your coffee, get comfortable, and let's get right to the video. So this year, Valentine's Day 2023 is all about you, girl, you, man. If you're a man watching, um, I just want to go ahead and do a PSA. I don't really even know what that means. But basically, I'm going to do a quick little segment for you men watching. So if you're a guy watching, don't watch this whole video. Just skip to the men portion. The timestamp will be in the bio. So go ahead and skip to it, honey. You don't want to watch all this. It's about to get real messy up in here, okay? Okay. I've got some fun ideas for you too. So don't feel left out, but just go ahead and pass. Now, ladies. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. What? This Valentine's Day, we are not sitting back, being emotional, crybabying. We are going out and doing something about it, okay? If you are single, it's okay. And you know what? Even if you're in a relationship and that relationship isn't going so great, okay? Get out, sis. Get out. But also, let's do something fun this year. Let's make 2023's Valentine's Day something fun for everyone, not just the couples. But I want to know, what are things that make you happy about being single? And you might be like, how can you feel happy about being single? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today. So the first thing that I wanna recommend is that you be extra, girl. You be extra. Valentine's Day doesn't have to have this negative connotation. It can be something sweet and fun and the couples can enjoy themselves and the singles can enjoy themselves. It doesn't have to be all about a relationship. It can be about Valentine's Day or self-love day. Like I think you can be as extra as you wanna be on Valentine's Day. So look, I changed my computer screensaver. I changed my phone screensaver. I'm being an extra. I decorated the house in Valentine's Day theme. I'm not in a relationship, but this is the happiest I have felt on a Valentine's Day ever. Mm. This year, Valentine's Day is not going to be this sad, sappy thing. And for me personally, I went through a lot with Valentine's Day, like mixed, I had mixed emotions about Valentine's Day because for a long time, I just didn't even care about it. It was like, ew, gross, whatever. And I would help babysit kids. Um, but eventually I, one year I had a boyfriend on Valentine's Day and um, I've had things on Valentine's Day. Okay. But really I haven't ever felt like this amount of joy and excitement about Valentine's Day. And I just wanted to do something different for myself. Um, it's been like over, it's been about a year since my last little relationship and um, it was it was hard to get past that, not necessarily because um, of the relationship, but because of the guy, because I really cared about him and I wanted him to be happy, but um, I'm happy to be single and I feel like I made the right choice and I think he feels that way too, hopefully so. And look, I'm not here to spill tea on any of my boyfriends in the past, okay? Because they will come back and haunt you, okay? Ghost of Christmas past. We're not doing that. We're not playing that game, okay? So I'm not gonna bash anybody or drag anybody through the mud. I have dated some really amazing guys. I've been lucky. Um, I've been smart, actually, I should say. And I'm glad that God protected me from a few of these wolves dressed in sheep's clothing, if you know what I mean, okay? They're probably not watching my YouTube channel, so I don't care. But even if they did, I would say it to their face, you know, God really protected me and I was smart and I listened to the Lord. So thank God, you know, that certain relationships didn't work out. But the relationships that were really good, um, I miss them and I miss having someone to talk to like that, you know, a friend like that. Um, but I've never really been in love and I've never really experienced that, the deepness of love. So this year I was like, well, I'm sad. I'm not gonna be receiving flowers. I'm not gonna be getting sweet text messages. No one's gonna be asking me how my day is going. This Valentine's Day will just be like any other day. But I wanna make it special for me and I wanna make it special for others. So my second tip is be a giver. 
be a giver and give other people so much love. Give other people so much joy and peace. Give so much love that you feel fulfilled. So I'm gonna show you a few things that I got for people. I got my nephew a box of chocolates, just the, just the regular kind, okay? I got caramel. Cute! Ooh. I'm so excited to give these to her. Should I do a video of me giving these to her? Absolutely, yes I should. That will be right now. Hey, so I'm actually editing this right now and I never made a video, so sorry. I got my sister some hot chocolate, um, a hot cocoa bomb, and some love marshmallows. Um, I only got the one sister something because she's the only one I'll be seeing tomorrow, so that's why, sorry, my other sisters. It's crazy because when we were a kid, we would give our whole entire classroom Valentine's Day cards. We would give like those little tiny square things and sometimes we wouldn't even get candy in them and that was really disappointing. But some people don't do that. People don't do that anymore. I mean, if you did that, you'd be like a weirdo. So what if you did that in a way? You know, you didn't give everyone a Valentine's Day card, but what if you were just extra sweet to people? What if you got everybody chocolate or everybody donuts in your office or in your school or wherever you're at? I mean, what if you just gave? What if you brought your mom flowers or you brought one of your siblings flowers? I mean, be a giver and that will definitely make you feel better on this Valentine's Day. I think you should decorate your house in Valentine's Day. If you saw my new month reset, you saw that I was decorating for Valentine's Day. I was gonna go buck wild, but I kind of just was like, we're not breaking the bank here, okay? You know what I'm saying? So I stopped, I didn't get anything else, but I just wanted to feel like Valentine's Day was special. I wanna wake up in the morning and I just wanna feel love. I wanna feel love all over. So I literally have things that say love on them all over, dog love, cat love, whatever. And I just wanted to spoil myself a little bit. And of course I have my roommate, Sammy, my best friend. So we're Galentine'sing it up. We're gonna go hang out on Galentine's Day um, because actually we're babysitting a bunch of kids. So that's our actual plans, but don't, don't be like me. This was a fundraising event, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, why am I talking like that? It's so weird. One fun activity would be to get yourself a little romantic book. I am not really that far into this book, so I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but it's maybe someday by Colleen Hoover. There is a sequel to it. I can't recommend it because I don't know that much about it. I'm just like on page four, so. Um, yeah, but I decided to get myself kind of a romantic book and I've never done that before. So you can do something, you know, branch out a little bit. Um, just try to make sure you read the reviews. I don't know how this is going to go. I haven't read any reviews on it and I hope that it's a good book. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little scared. I also got these at Target. It's Sudoku and Crossword Puzzles. So cute. I'm a huge nerd and I love these type of things. So this will be a fun Valentine's Day activity. And look at how aesthetically pleasing they are. Like just chef's kiss. So get yourself a fun little activity book or something you can color or draw on Valentine's Day. That will be a fun activity. You can even get a canvas from Hobby Lobby and paint a little bit and just make it special, make it creative, do a craft, um, do an activity book and enjoy that moment, enjoy that time. One thing that I definitely think you should not do is reflect on past relationships. Instead, reminisce and reflect on what makes being single so special uniquely to you. For me, I would say it's, I am a lot more clear-minded when I'm single. I stay clear-minded in a relationship, but of course you have this distraction because you have somebody that's interested in you, that's flirting with you and all that stuff. You're thinking about that person. You're wondering like, are they good? How's their day going? I have a little fuzzy in my hair. But you know, when you're in a relationship, you can't really enjoy just that peace of mind that you're not worrying about no one else. Um, I like feeling like I have the upper hand to some of these married couples because especially some of these younger married couples, like they do not seem happy. Like I'm so glad I'm not married right now. I am so glad I don't have a kid right now. Like these people, when people marry too young and they marry someone they don't really know, I've seen the misery of it. I'm so happy to be single. Sometimes people's own relationships make me even more grateful and even more excited. Like, thank God I didn't marry my first boyfriend, you know, or thank goodness I didn't get stuck with this guy or that guy, you know, thank God that I was like smart enough to be like, mm, this isn't working out because I see so much of these relationships just falling apart and I'm like, poor you, mm -hmm. tear, tear. But then I'm like, so don't try to set me up with anyone.
Okay. I just want to say really quick that I do feel bad for those couples that are struggling, but I think what I'm talking about here is like when married couples try to make me feel bad for being single, even though like their marriage is definitely not something that I would want in my life. So that's what I mean by that. I do feel bad for people that are struggling in their marriage, but I do think it's kind of interesting that those are the people that are typically like, oh my gosh, you're still single? When are you going to date? So sorry. Um, that's just my PSA. When God has the right person for me, he'll be there. I have been single majority of my life, and I definitely think that when I was dating, I got serious so quickly. And the fear almost of like, is this person the one that I'm going to marry? Like everything has to be perfect. This has to be the man of God. Um, I obviously don't feel that right now because I'm single and there's no one out there that I'd be interested in dating right now. So I think it's kind of nice that I'm not thinking about the serious side of dating. And also in my next relationship, whatever that looks like, whoever that is, I want to just have fun. I want to be with somebody that makes me laugh, that makes me feel like just we can go have so much fun. And I am the person that's like serious, serious, serious right away because I don't want to date the wrong person. I have seen so many strong women and men date the wrong person and literally leave their walk with God, okay? I'm not gonna do all that, but I've seen women that have been called to missions walk away from that calling. People that said they were gonna adopt say, no, they're not gonna adopt because their husband doesn't want them to. I'm not doing it, sis. I enjoy being single because I enjoy being a mighty woman of God and I'm not afraid because I'm old enough and I'm mature enough now. But when I was younger and even last year some, I was so paranoid about, is this a person or is this person someone who's gonna hold me back or someone that's gonna help me move forward? And you don't have to worry about that because you're the person holding yourself back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you're also the you're you're also the only person that's pulling yourself forward and pushing yourself forward. So you can the possibilities are endless. But when you have a relationship, it's like do they agree with what you're doing? Do they like what you're doing? Are they supporting? You know, I don't have to worry about that when I'm single. I'm sure there's many other things that are so uniquely special to you about being single, but those are just a few of mine. There's many other reasons, but we're not getting into the tea. All right, and speaking of tea. I think it'd be really fun. And actually my friend is throwing a Valentine's party, even though she's married. Um, <laughs> a couple ideas for you girls would be like a manicure. Um, you could either go out and get manicures. Or you could do each other's manicures, facials and spa day inside. You could do the movies, like, you know, you could do a charcuterie board, all that stuff. And you could have like the cutest stuff. It'd be so fun to do a little Valentine's day photo shoot. And you know, couples usually do that. But what if you did like your own like Valentine's Day shoot as a single woman? But you could definitely set up a cute photo drop in the backyard or somewhere and in the house and take a bunch of pictures for it and upload them to your IG or your Facebook. I sound like such a, gr a grandma when I say Facebook. <laughs> On Valentine's Day, you got to treat yourself, okay? You got to get your mani done. You got to get your hair did, get your brows done. Treat yourself. And one of the ways you can do that is go shopping. I'm going to show you guys all the things that I got for me for Valentine's Day because I want to show you that you can treat yourself you know like I said like once a year is not going to kill somebody and it's not going to ruin your want with God you're not going to be this self-obsessed person if you go out and buy a bunch of stuff for you so let's break down a few of the things I got this is like my Valentine's Day haul and I want to point out that all of this stuff I bought throughout the past couple of months and um, I definitely budgeted for this and also some of the stuff is on clearance. That's all I'm gonna say. So obviously you don't need to go this crazy, but I just wanted to treat myself and give you guys plenty of ideas. The first thing I got was this dupe for the Stanley Steel whatever crap cup this is. Um, this is Reduce and this was at Target. It's only $25. It comes with a straw, but it has several different ways to drink. So I'm super excited about this tumbler because I drink a lot of water. I got myself Valentine's Day socks. These are so cute. Like just, <sighs> So cute. I got this bag from TJ Maxx. It's a reusable grocery bag, but I figured I can also use this for caramel when I'm traveling and, and also just whatever I want for it. I cannot wait. I got myself these cheetah pajamas. They're a pink cheetah color. And these are capris and a little button up shirt. So, um, well, maybe it's not a button up shirt. Yeah, yeah. There's the buttons. So I just think it's so cute and I'm excited to wear them. I didn't buy myself flowers. You know, we all been singing that song. I didn't buy myself flowers because my roommate actually bought flowers for the house and I just didn't 
didn't buy it. I got this adorable candle. It's raspberry milk. It smells so good and so cute with the flowers. So technically I did buy myself flowers, right? <laughs> Bath and Body Works had this cute little kit. This was like only $15. It comes with a little tiny hand sanitizer, a spray, like a mist, and then um, a shower gel. It's The flavor is cherry blossom and so cute. And with that, I went ahead and got me a little Germex cover thing so that it could travel with me easier and I'm super excited to smell like cherries. I got some earrings. I thought these were super pretty. What do you guys think? So I tr I'm going to try these lashes. I don't know anything about them, but I figured why not try? I also got myself um this is called this is called Poppy and it's a little um pretty lipstick color mascara and white eyeliner i'm so excited to try this is a silly one but i got myself what i consider a valentine's day ish smell it's pink peach blossom and i got that from um bath and body works as well and last but not least i got myself a starbucks gift card and the pink um starbucks tumbler i'm obsessed with this i've been wanting this for so long so i finally was like just get it girl and isn't that not adorable? No, I'm not gonna do the links in the description or anything like that because honestly, I've been collecting these things for so long, like since December, so I really don't honestly remember where half of that stuff came from, but sorry. That is my Valentine's Day haul, and guys, I'm gonna keep it straight with y'all. If you waited this long to watch this portion of the video, I hope you fast forwarded, and I'm sorry that you had to see all that, okay? Girls are crazy. You would spend $200 on yourself. Um, I'm gonna recommend if you're a guy to basically do the same thing as the girls. Get a bunch of single guys together. You can go to Top Golf. You can go to the movies. You can buy yourself cologne, buy yourself a charcuterie board. You can buy yourself a new jacket or sweatsuit. Go to Ross or TJ Maxx and get yourself some new shoes. You can treat yourself too, you know? Sometimes we think that men are supposed to just have their emotions. Back in the olden days, they treated men like they weren't allowed to have emotions. And I understand that if you're a guy, Valentine's Day can be just as hard for you as it is for a girl. Maybe you just got out of a serious relationship or maybe you've been single for a while. So treat yourself, men, okay? Spend some time with your bros and hang out with them. Yeah, so I hope you guys will try that. Anyways, I cannot wait for next week's video. I know it's gonna be very interesting. I think the tea will be spilled next week so you don't want to miss it um if you like this video give it a thumbs up i will see you guys next time love you guys happy valentine's day mm.